Hi friend. Today we're going to take a look at this rat pedal that we soldered up last time. The first thing we're going to do is adjust this bias control that we added to the power supply. That's just so it gets the correct amount of bias to the integrated circuit. Then we're going to hook it up and we're going to take a listen. If that sounds good, join me. Here's our printed circuit board, all soldered up. We're going to apply some power to it. And we have our multimeter set to DC volts. I got to set on a 20 range. We're going to test what's coming out of the power supply first. 9.33. All right. 9.32. Okay. So half of that would be 4.66. So we're going to leave this on the negative. And we are going to connect this positive to the center leg of the trim pot. See, it's off a little bit, so it's, that's from tolerances, plus the, where this trim pot is set. We want to get to 4.66, and that'll be an exact half voltage divider. And that's set. This is a little bit overkill for a circuit like this. The difference in tolerance between the resistors isn't going to make this much of a difference for, uh, I'm saying 0.3 off on the bias voltage for the LM308 isn't going to make that much of a difference. But we're being perfectionist here for no reason whatsoever. All right, let's hook this up and take a listen. All right, let's check out some of these modifications. I have got all of them set to the off position. Um, so it's basically a stock rat right now. I have all the knobs facing noon. All controls are at noon. Uh, this is our clean tone. <laughs> And this is the effect. You can see it has that classic rat tone. All right, the first mod we're going to look at is going to be taking that 47 ohm resistor out. We're going to cut that trace with this switch. You see it has uh, the effect of taking a lot of the gain out. I'm going to turn the distortion control up to about 75% or well, 3 o'clock. And now I'm going to switch that back out of the circuit. It gives it that breathy growl with less gain. Hit 
Here it is with the mod off. Not bad. I'm going to turn it back down to noon again. And the next mod, we're going to bypass that 560 ohm resistor. Now we're not taking that whole trace out of the circuit. We're just bypassing that one resistor with a lead. This is stock. It seems to give it a little more gain. Interesting. Um, it doesn't change the tone much, so I'm not sure what the point is. It's interesting. Um, that's a mod I would probably chop. Maybe. Let's try them together. Okay, we're back to stock. Um, Next, let's try messing with the slew rate. Now, I figured I went the wrong way with it in the schematic on the original. Um, I went from a 30 picofarad to a 1 picofarad. I think it was the wrong way to go because it increased the slew rate and the bandwidth. And it squeals a bit. Uh, it's just too much for this circuit. So I went the other way and replaced the 1 picofarad capacitor with a 100 picofarad capacitor. So this is stock. And this is the 100 picofarad capacitor. Cuts out some of the highs. Um, it changes the way that the highs react. Um, it's okay. It, it's worth experimenting with. Let's uh, take some, add some more highs. This is stock. This is 100 picofarad. That's with the tone control towards 9 o'clock. It's nice. It's worth experimenting with. Here's the one I like the best. We're going to change those 1N914 clipping diodes to LEDs. It, it increases the volume a lot, so I'm going to pull that back a little bit. It's very nice, very nice. Here's stock again. Here's LEDs. Now 
makes a big difference. Um, you, if you use the on off on type of switch and you put it in the middle, it takes the uh, clipping diodes out altogether. It sounds like this. Even more volume and it's kind of like a boost. I like it a lot. Uh, one of the fun things that happens when you when you switch it to LED mode, the LEDs light up whenever it gets some uh, signal through it. Um, hope you can see this. All right. We're going to go back to the regular clipping diodes, 1N914s, and we're going to do that last mod. I really like this mod. I think it's my favorite one. It's the asymmetrical clipping mod, and what it's going to do is add another 1N914 to the one side. Gives that low end rumble. Off, asymmetrical. All right, let's try with the LEDs. This is LEDs off, or LEDs are on, and we have in regular symmetrical mode. This is asymmetrical. One and nine, one fours, and symmetrical and asymmetrical. Overall, I like the pedal. Whoops. Um, so we are going to wrap this up. Um, if you have any questions about the mods, let me know. I'm not sure if I'm going to box this one up yet. Um, too many silly mods, I think. But it has that rat character that I really love. And it gives you options. Uh, whichever ones you would like in your own pedal, I would suggest taking the ones you like and building it the way you want. Um, okay. Okay. <sighs>